Egypt is about to clash with its biggest football rival, North Africa's Morocco. With seven continental titles, the Pharaohs by far exceed the 1976 winners Morocco's record of a single AFCON crown. Yet from their previous 29 encounters, Egypt has only won three. We're going to see unprecedented enthusiasm for both teams on the pitch. The road quarterfinals was difficult for both teams, so they will both want to prove that they are the most deserving team. I think the Egyptian team must forget about the past and not focus on the history of match records between them. This is definitely an early African final. For Egypt and Morocco, it's an Arab derby in the African competition. The Atlas Lions have been on a winning streak, which gives them confidence. There is rising harmony among the players, which makes the son of Vahid Halilodzic greedy to win the competition. At the same time, we haven't seen Egypt as strong as it was against Cote d'Ivoire in years. Egypt come to the Morocco showdown exhausted from a 120-minute slugfest against Cote d'Ivoire with less than 24 hours rest. Injuries have also struck the Pharaohs with first-choice goalkeeper Shinawi missing Sunday's match. Midfielder Hamdi Fathi and defender El Winch are facing a race against time to be fit for the quarter-final. On the other hand, Morocco has confirmed two COVID-19 cases among two of its reserve players, with fears the infections list could grow. Overall, such players' absences won't have a great effect on the match. There will be rare opportunities for both teams to score. Therefore, the most focused team will have the advantage. I believe whoever scores first in the match will be the closest to win because historically, the matches between Egypt and Morocco do not witness many goals. While the head-to-head -head meeting favor Morocco, Egypt coach Carlos Queiroz enjoys a much better record against the Atlas Lions. The Portuguese defeated Morocco on two occasions when he coached South Africa and Iran. Sure, it's a tactical game, 50-50 between Egypt and Morocco. Before Cote d'Ivoire game, all the predictions are talking about Cote d'Ivoire to the quarterfinal and Egypt out. But now, after the gradual increasing of the performance of the Egyptian team with Carlos Kirosh, with the new formation 4-3-3, I think Egypt could win the cup. But it's depending on a lot of uh, circumstances. After Cote d'Ivoire, we are talking about injuries, we are talking about a, a very big team. Egypt and Morocco is a game always filled with historical emotions, football aspirations, and this week it's about a survival chance in the competition. Egypt is only three matches away from its record-extending title, while Morocco is much more desperate for its second AFCON title and the first in 46 years. Adil Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.